What's up YouTube? Today's Thursday. This is uh, de December here, December here in Florence. This is the rainy, the rainy season, the rainy time of year. Statistically, it's the rainiest out of the whole year. We usually get some pretty good storms. We had a, a little bit of a squall that came through last night. And so I'm just going to go down to the uh, to the South Jetty today and check out and just see uh, see how everything looks. I think I'm going to go out to the beach and see if we had any good wash-ups of driftwood on the beach. So right now I'm just rolling into into Florence. This is uh, we're on 126 right now. Hey, there's a stealth van dweller. Uh, that guy he kind of. He's got Homeless Jimmy, Cash or Gas is his name. He's actually a pretty good guy. I've talked to him. Uh, he's a retired, well, veteran or what have you. I think he's got a disability or something. Hey, there's the Florence Yamaha shop. Oh, yeah, with the razors out there. But anyways, yeah, he's a pretty good guy. He's, you know, he kind of, I don't know if I'd call him an e-beggar or whatever, a beggar. He, he does sit on the corner and uh, take you know donations or what have you uh, the guy is he's an older guy and he's got you know he has some health issues I believe so we're gonna uh, we're gonna take in we're now out here on to uh, 101 the uh, Pacific Coast Highway so we're gonna we're gonna take a take a left here and head out over the uh, over the famous bridge the famous Florence Florence Bridge here they're doing actually some construction work on it right now yeah, this is kind of a, a dreary, the dreary time of year here. I mean, December, like I said, it's the wettest month of the year. A lot of people don't like it here this time of year. Um, I personally, I like a really good, awesome windstorm, rainstorm. I love, I love them. And I like being down at the beach when they're going on. Uh, we're not really in those windy conditions presently, but like I said, we did have some good little storm that brewed last night and then uh, coming up here on our right we've got the sportsman the famous sportsman this place has been here for years they, they sell a lot of fishing gear hunting gear ATV riding gear uh, all kinds of stuff there's also a Honda shop down in the basement I've been going to going there going in and out of there the last 25 years so here's uh, Dairy Queen over there. We've got, uh, here we go, here's the, the famous Sayusla Historic Bridge, Sayusla River. They're doing some type of seismic improvements to the bridge right now. I was watching a report done by the Oregon Department of Transportation and they're, they're doing some seismic improvements to it, strengthening the integrity of the bridge. So we've got some Jersey Barrier going on over there. Hey, there's a pop-up truck camper. Awesome, a North Star. And this would be entering into Glenada. And then the next one would be Dune City. So you can tell I live in the area, so I know it pretty, pretty well. Lots of backcountry roads here off of 101 that go out into the sticks and there's some really great exploring opportunities out there out in the National Forest and now we're entering in the Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area and that's where I'm headed headed uh, up here to South Jetty the South Jetty Dunes and Beach this little RV supplies parts service this is a great place here to get parts service they've got some great salespeople in here no bullshit just they're not gonna you know give you a lot of sales rhetoric uh, great place, great service, and uh, you know if you want to do walkthroughs, no pressure, no hassles. Check those guys out if you're ever passing through the area here. Now off to our left is a Thousand Trails Park. Thousand Trails. Yeah, this is where RV bandwagon is going to be probably staying at if he if he comes out here to Florence. He's going to be using his membership. All oh, the Freedom Theory, they were also staying there. Yes, the, the Freedom Theory YouTube channel. Great channel there. There's a couple of other parks here. This is kind of a Camp Florence. 
Camp Florence right there. That's a, a camp where youth, kids, teenagers go to work out their, their issues and their, uh, their challenges that they're having in life, their social issues, mental issues, what have you. They, they go in there and they put the kids to work and they, they do a lot of uh, kind of side job. They do a lot of like tree cutting jobs and just kind of, you know, manual labor stuff and uh, try to, you know, get the, get the kids' heads back together there. So that's a, that's a good little, a little organization there. This would be the uh, the South Jetty staging area. That's where all the ATV riders go. That's where I go to fire up the Banshee and take it out for a buzz. Burn up some two-stroke gas. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we're just we're headed right now out to the beach, and this is referred to as the South Jetty. Uh, the South Jetty, literally. There's a jetty at the end. There's a south one. And there's a north one. This is a pretty long drive out to the tip of the South Jetty. But yeah, I've been I've been coming down to this area since uh, the early early 90s. It's always been one of my favorite places to recreate, get away, vacation. Just always loved it here, and that's why I'm here. I've always wanted to live here and. And, uh, but now I've, I really do have the, the travel bug and I want to experiment with the nomadic lifestyle. And I do know that as I was talking to one of my friends uh, yesterday in town, one of my good friends, you know, he told me you can always come back here if you want. You can always come back to Florence. It's always going to be here. These opportunities are always going to be here. And, and, and he's right. You can, there's Goose Pasture, another staging area. That's another good one. I think on the way back I'll drive through and get some footage of some of the ATVs. But it's always going to be here if I want to come back. I can always come back here. Life is about stretching, it's about growing, it's about expansion, it's about it's about getting, it's about doing things that you know that that scare you. Um, you know, if you're not doing anything that scares you, you're not growing. You're just being static. Uh, and in an essence, you're, you're probably dying, you know, if you're not doing things that kind of scare you a little bit. So I'm just talking about what I'm referencing here is just, it's about going out there on the road and being nomadic and, and making a living. And, and um, it's going to be scary at first. It's just like anything. When I was scared when I moved down here, I was scared. I didn't know how I had a lot of uncertainty. That's what I'm referring to, uncertainty. So, but that's what life is. Life is uncertain and there's also certainty. <laughs> so, uh, life is kind of a paradox, if you will. This is just an access point to, to, the, to the beach. You do need a, a Northwest Forest Pass to um, to park your vehicle here on this area. I think the one I've got is expired, so so don't don't tell on me here. Don't don't call the, the the forest pass police on me here. So here I'm coming upon a dock that uh, yeah you can see the water there. It's been been uh, a little bit of flooding. There is a a dock that. I'm going to go out here and uh, we're going to take a walk out and I'm going, to, I'm going to show you guys here. So in this clip here I ended up just muting the sound because the wind was way too intense and it would have probably deafened you. But as you were walking out here, just kind of sneaking around this little water uh, over the trail, there's a picnic bench, looks like somebody has had a uh, started to make a little fire there. And so this, yeah, it's kind of a neat dock and you can go out and do crabbing and fishing. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it was a uh, you know pretty pretty blustery day. It says Lane County Park, so that's kind of interesting. I think that the the parking lot there it says that you need to have a forest pass, but you know if it's a Lane County Park, that's doesn't cost anything to to be out there using the dock. So there's a, a crab pot here in the water, and I ended up talking to to the guy that uh, that owns this this little crab pot. He he came out for the day. He lives uh, in the Eugene area, and he, he noticed that I still had my Washington plates on my truck, and he was asking me where I was from. So he ends up being from Tacoma, and I lived in Auburn for a couple of years. 
So, uh, so we, we got along and we had a, you know, had a few things in common there. That was kind of interesting. He says, he okay, so now we're uh, going further north here. This is the last parking lot area on the end of this, I guess it's kind of a, I'll just call it a spit. It's not really a spit. It's probably more of a peninsula. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a peninsula on the end of this peninsula. Now, I believe down here, this is considered Coast Guard or, uh, okay, it's Army Corps of Engineers, this land here. So when you get down here, you don't need a forest pass. A lot of people don't know that. I didn't realize that uh, for a long time. But yeah, you can, you can park for free. There is no overnight parking here, so uh, don't think you can stealth camp down here. Uh, that isn't going to happen. You'll probably get a, a tow truck, uh, a tow truck picking your front end up at about one in the morning. Gets to be a little bit of a bog down here of water. You see, there's the Coast Guard shack out there in the distance. Well, there it is, the South JD Beach parking number seven. A lot of people just like to drive down here, including myself, and just park right here, sit in their vehicle, meditate. Uh, you can you know you can watch there's a lot of wildlife there's sea lions that frequent this area um, it's just a really relaxing place to be and it's also an outstanding place to be when there's a really killer windstorm rainstorm going on okay so again the wind was pretty intense here but I'm just walking out to the uh, to the end of this peninsula and uh, just going to go out there to uh, to to find the end of the end of the, the the end of the jetty, and then show you what the beach looks like today. So again, the wind was pretty intense, but I'm just uh, facing the beach right there. There's a little bit of a drive. There was a couple of people here in an old school Toyota pickup truck that were making their way uh, out there from the beach, and I'm just kind of looking out there, just pointing out to the end of the South Jetty. It goes way out there beyond those large rocks to keep your uh, your vehicles from driving any far out, further out there, which you could easily drive around them if you wanted to. So yeah, there's uh, a few pieces of driftwood uh, on the beach there, and then kind of beyond. I'm not sure if you can see, but not a whole lot of debris washed up yet. Uh, we are still in the you know beginning phases of the stormy season here on the coast. So there should be a lot more here soon in the future. Okay, so just as I said that the rain had given us a little bit of a break, it's returned. We have another squall coming through. So I'm back in the truck right now. I am going to be signing off here. Just want to remember to let everybody know that this is life. It's not a rehearsal. So get out there. Use your personal power. Take action. And do what it is you want to do with your life. Take care.